hello i hope you guys have set up the wordpress and exam it's time to uh, download our blog theme and apply to our website or our blog okay so uh, this is our front end and this is our back end okay let's go to google and search for our blog theme my favorite blog theme is sahifa i'm gonna go for the free version i'm gonna say sahifa WordPress theme free download okay click on the first website you see and uh, click on download this here and it's gonna download our theme and um, I'm gonna download to download same start download okay done I'm gonna close it so our theme is in the downloads folder downloads here it is I'm gonna extract it here I'm gonna remove this documentation we don't need it okay so this is the zip file that we will upload to apply our theme okay zip file wordpress only accepts zip file for the theme okay and this is zip so this is basically the our theme okay so uh, i'm gonna cut it and i'm gonna paste here i'm gonna remove this sahifa okay this is our theme it's time to upload it the file size is 4 mb this is the backend now uh, for those of you guys who are totally new to WordPress just follow what I do okay to apply the theme to WordPress all you need to do is go to appearance click on themes here add new will show uh, free themes that we can apply to our WordPress site a lot of free themes see feature these are the features these are 15 you can go to popular latest you can even filter according to you to your features but I prefer Sahifa that we just downloaded okay or you can search the theme you want okay but we are gonna upload because we have downloaded the theme and we are gonna upload directly to our WordPress now uh, click on upload now one thing that is very important to mention here is the upload file size the maximum upload file size for the local host is 2 MB 2 MB or I think 3 MB okay and even when you buy the hosting from your hosting provider the upload max size will be 2 MB or 4 MB when I bought uh, my uh, hosting the upload max max upload file size was 2 MB then I asked my hosting provider and he uh, increased that file size okay so for the local host we can increase the increase the file size on our own okay it is only it is very simple to do okay all you need to do is go to exam uh, D exam Uh, where it goes here it is exam now uh, this is the HD docs where our WordPress is but for the max upload size we need to go to PHP folder now find the file with the name php.ini here it is PHP the extension of this file is INI you can see INI PH this file is called php.ini all the PHP configurations are in this web in this uh, file I'm gonna open it now we only need to change the size of two things okay uh, here it is I uh, I wrote these two things on a notepad so uh, so we are gonna search for these two on, in this file and we are gonna increase this the first thing is post max size and the second thing is upload max file size we are gonna increase the file size of both of these okay I have already increased it but I'm gonna show you how you can find these two and increase them so I'm gonna copy this 
come to this php.ini file go to this is a huge file so we can just go to line by line and see where it is so we, all you can do is you can see you can uh, copy this or you can type it here I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go to file uh, edit and find I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna go find see it just located the post underscore max underscore size so you just need to type here post underscore max underscore underscore size and it will come here you can see I have already increased it it is 100 MB but in your case it will be 2 MB or 4 MB or maybe 5 MB okay you can increase it to 64 MB 100 MB whatever you want I have increased it to 100 MB okay after make sure you increase it okay after increasing this now we need to increase this this is basically the post max size not the file size uh, I'm sorry this is the post max size the maximum post size that we can uh, send using our WordPress post size if you if you guys are familiar with the PHP you guys know what post is okay but if you are not don't worry you don't need to care uh, about what post is you just need to increase it okay now I'm gonna copy this go to edit find I'm gonna paste it you need to type it upload underscore max underscore file size and click find next and see I have also increased it already increase it to whatever you want and make sure after doing all this you click save okay so it will be saved okay done and after doing this one thing that is very important after doing after increasing the file size make sure you restart your exam okay uh, to restart your exam you can you, you can restart your computer all right you install restart your computer and then uh, start the exam again okay then it will work otherwise it will not work okay when the file size will be increased now we are able to upload heavy themes okay otherwise uh, the theme with 4 MB size or 10 MB size we will not be able to upload now we can upload the heavy themes okay so now to apply this Sahifa theme that we have downloaded which is in the downloads folder all you need to do is click on choose file go to downloads and click on Sahifa theme and click open and it's gonna upload our theme now click on install now it's gonna install now and then we will activate our theme as you can see it will take a little bit of time because it is localhost and it is fast than the live server so it will uh, do in in a minute but if you are on a live server it will take some time so as you can see it it is done now to apply the Sahifa theme all you need to do is click on activate to activate it as you can see our theme is activated okay now I'm gonna refresh it and see yes our theme is activated this is the Sahifa theme okay and this is a very popular and very awesome blog theme and almost um, from 100% all almost 60% bloggers use this theme okay and I recommend you to use it because it is very easy to use even if you are not totally familiar with WordPress and you don't even know what WordPress is you can work with this theme so this is done we have applied our theme in the next video we will customize our theme we will add some cool stuff and we will do everything that this course covers okay so thank you guys for watching this video i will see you in the next video